Thank you very much for having us and for being so accommodating to accept our documentation on behalf of or rather instead of our physical presence. The three of us are Marceau Chenot, choreographer and anthropologist based at the East China Normal University and at the Shanghai Qigong Research Institute. Zhang Yinan, Associate Professor at the Department for Media Communication at the College of Design and Innovation, and myself, Petra Johnson, I'm a research-based artist with a PhD from Oxford Brooks and currently artist-in-residence at the same department as Zhang Yinan at Chongji University in Shanghai. The film documentation you are about to see came out of our collaboration and is of a performance we shared in the form of an open rehearsal. We have been working together since December last year on an imagined reality of human life as it is thrown onto terrestrial ground. We explored the body's encounter with various organs, first the organ of balance, which enables our verticality and movement, then sound, and thirdly vision in the sense of being seen. The fourth part of the performance connects all these elements and makes them interdependent. We are bringing together dance, crafts and coding. Marceau has a rich vocabulary of movement modes with a background in contemporary dance and Qigong. I have a crafts background in woodwork and more recently began to explore weaving, particularly the vertical weaving looms common in Greek antiquity. And Zhang Yinan, who studied at Parsons in New York, has previous experience of working with dancers and sound artists. You can see the upright loom here. The warp beam is not resting on two vertical posts, but instead is hanging and therefore more responsive. Each warp line, altogether there are 120, is made up of two threads. The transparent one at the top, which reflects light, is knotted to a thread of white mohair. Most of them just touch the ground. Some stop just before, all in order to add to the responsiveness of the warp. I hope you will enjoy the next 15 minutes.
just after you see my soul agitating the screen with his breath, you will hear the sound enter. It has been coded to respond to the hand movements of my soul. To continue on the theme of breath, we chose the sound made when blowing into a bottle. So as Marceau's hands begin to control the sound, the sound also begins to inform his movements. You may already have noticed the projection at the back of the room. In a moment, the Microsoft Kinect camera will capture and process Marceau's movements into an animation, visible in the form of circles that highlight the points in the skeleton where limbs join. And we discovered during rehearsals that the computer vision algorithm cannot always keep up with the body's movement 
and instead reads the warp as a source of movement. This discovery of a glitch in the software facilitates a playful encounter with Marceau picking up the movement from the warp, only in order to throw it back at the warp. The animation shapeshifts during this process, becoming a large circle when attached to the object and an assembly of ordered circles when attached to the body.
In the very long and engaged question and answer session following the performance, one observer noted that the animation stood for society and that it represents a very reductive view of the human body, evocative of strategies used by institutions, governments and in-city planning. I'd like to finish with this observation and we welcome any feedback, any observations, any interpretations you may have. This is an ongoing project and please feel free to visit us when you are in Shanghai. Many thanks for your attention.